Welcome back everybody to Thingamabob Thursday. I am Mr. Spicy and today we are taking a look at a game I just bought. This is Niche, a genetic survival game. It's kind of along the vein of Spore from my understanding that you have to do like evolution by selective breeding and you basically create new species. So we're going to give this game a check out today for Thingamabob Thursday and you know what, let's, let's do story mode. I just want to do story mode because I want to have some kind of goal in the end. I might play with sandbox later just to get a feel for it better, but we're going to try story mode starting today. And oh, we got some paw prints, some kind of cat type paw it looked like. What oh, I got? I can skip the intro, but first time trying this game, let's check it out. So we got some leaves falling. We got, well, this would be a small island, not exactly tropical island. And now we have, let's, like, tiger cats, but they have, like, a barking sound like dogs. It's like a cat prairie dog tiger type thing. All right. Oh, no. One of them's been picked up by the evil hawk. We scratch the hawk. We fall. To apparently another island. Maybe this is the Galapagos Islands. Oh, we're hurt. It's got like a saber tooth cat. It's got the big saber teeth. He's stripy, but I heard them barking. Oh, we're all scared. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, you know, big kitty cat eyes. They, oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, so look around. You are all alone, stranded on an island far away from home. Great, okay. Uh, now this is supposed to be a turn-based game as opposed to, like, Spore. Uh, let's see how... Oh, alright, I'm, I'm moving around. Oh, we got a way to hop out in the water. Uh, click on Adam. Okay, yeah, that, that's a good reference there. M click on the blue paw to move. Well, uh... I kind of want to stay close to food. So, there we go. Alright, I'm not injured. That's good news. Yes, always good not to be injured. Uh, time to get some sleep. Click on the end day button at the top of the screen. That. Also press space bar in the day. Alright, yeah, so I guess that's supposed to be the sun kind of thing. And Oh, wow, my head is turning around. My head, I am the exorcist. Oh, I'm, I, I, I need an exorcist. Oh, God, yeah! Alright. Worldless brighter today. Use your mouse wheel and or R and F to zoom in and out. So, I, I think I'll stick with the mouse wheel. Thank you. Left click and drag to move the camera or use arrow keys. Right click and drag. Use Q, E, T, G to tilt and rotate. So, hey, hey. Oh, how you doing, buddy? What What's up there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, let's see, what, what can we do here? Oh, collect fruit or attack the bush. That could be construed sexually. I mean, if you're attacking the bush, yes. Alright, uh, collecting more and building up a reserve would be helpful. Yeah, food count, just display it in the bottom right. So there's my food count. It looks like sticks, so do I, uh, are these creatures intelligent enough to build like little huts and shelters? Uh, I can't see anything. I guess this is the unexplored territory. So, uh... What the... Uh, did I use... I used up all of my movements for the day, apparently. Okay. What was this? Jeans. Okay. Uh... Jean... More jeans. Medium ears, horns. Oh, wow! So we can actually see what each trait is, like each group, and try to encourage different traits in this. Oh, like getting horns and such. All right. Uh, and I apparently cannot move any further. All right, let's go to the next day. Yeah, okay, so that was the end of the turn. We're going to move up this way. And I can't do anything else. This is going to be a quick set of first turns. Reeds. 
Oh, that's what that is. Some reeds. What? What's this? Make an, do I make a nest or do I do something else? Ooh, my guy got bigger. I can't turn and see him from the side. He keeps turning with me. All right, well, uh, what's that? You're not telling me what the icon is for. Gonna move there, and then we're gonna use this. Travel. To another, I don't, we've probably gone forever. Okay, water. We are moving, and there go two achievements right there just from doing that. Oh man, okay, I'm at a new place. And I have got, ah, stepping stones crumble and splash into the ocean. This island is the new home. Whoa. Not going back. All right, we got somebody else here. Oh, offer five food to join your tribe, clear away the grass, or attack. Well, since I'm Adam and this is Eve, I'm going with the fact that we probably need to give her food. Okay, now I can explore the island together. Yay! I have Eve. And use the tab to switch between animals. Oh, that, that's useful. Okay. I, I'm not going to wait. We're going to mate right away. <laughs> yeah, because we need a... Uh, your animals grow older and will die one day. You can check their age in the bottom left corner after clicking on them. Which, where, where? I clicked on them. Where's his age? Ten days old. Remaining lifetime, 15 days. Oh, man, you are dying quickly. Eight days old, 17 days. So, yeah, like 25 days they get to live. That's not very long. Uh, Go this way and build a nest. So you can produce more babies. Oh, so I built a nest, and then my offspring got born in that one. So, all right, genes or myths of the parents let's see what this is Let, let's see can i like compare between them yeah look at that look okay so i've got like yellow fur and red fur from parent black and black and now i got black and yellow combined so i get a darker yellow fur off of that uh brown eyes who had your brown eyes you had black eyes uh, no albinism. That's a good thing right there. We don't want some albino animals running around. Mecco. Female. And male. So what happens? I gotta have brother and sister mate? That's not healthy. Uh, that, that's definitely not healthy. Okay, so I think what it is, is the flowers here are called the port fields. And so hopefully... All three of these should move together. I went ahead and got Eve pregnant again by her own son. That's kind of, that's bad. But yeah, we're going to try this and see who gets sent across to this next island. And apparently you can only have one animal on each port field. And yeah, there we go. So now we've got more port fields. So we can always go back. But Adam will be dead by the time we go back. Oh, we got Marera. Rrrr, uh, uh, let's see, is I, am I losing strength or anything? No, it's not smelling, yeah, okay. What you got? Wait, 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 I know what I need to check because her, her own mother is also her grandmother. <laughs> Her father is technically her brother, so I need to see what's wrong with her. <laughs> Ooh, swimming tail. That'd be kind of cool. They get where they go swim around everywhere. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. No pattern. So apparently I've lost my stripes now. Ooh, I found somebody else. So, Vanta. Looks like Cubone from Pokemon. He's got like a, it looks like he's got a skull on the front of his face. Like, yeah, it's like Cubone from Pokemon. Let's see, uh... Ah, uh, man, I need to get you over... Well, yeah, I need to get you there. You big guy. Let's see, can you move? K, 
can, but I don't want I don't want you to mate with him again because yeah, we already done that. We need we need something else from you. Let's see, can you do anything? Yes. All right, so I have got the first one born of Eve and Vanta called Nuvan. And look, it doesn't have as much of a skull face. It look, kind of like he's got very kind of dim-witted looking eyes to me. Like very glossed over. Like he's not very intelligent. Oh, webbed hind legs so he can swim. Oh, huh. wonder if we can swim down and find stuff out that way. I'm going to have to move him out that way. Can't move him right now. Okay, we are going to move you up here so you start cracking some nuts. All right, I got a weird looking one. Hey, there's something not right with this guy. Uh, Yeah, there is something not right with him. I mean, he's got a swimming tail. Deformed paw. No, duh. Uh, derp. A <laughs> derp snout. Short-sided eyes. Uh, yeah, deformed Paul. Look look at the guy. I mean, look at him. There is something not right with him. I should have not offered him any food. I should just left him on his own. Instead, he's, he can sit here and get me some food. How about that? Okay, I think there's something wrong with my guys down here because none of them want to move. I got him to move up here, but none of them want to move this way or that way. I can't move him anywhere. Oh, I see the problem. These are blind. They can't see anything. <laughs> Great. So all of these are blind, which means they're a waste of time. All I'm going to use them for is to get food. And I need to get these where they have some sort of you know create a new nest and i can't seem to get enough nesting material ever to keep that nest uh to get the new nest going with them there we go new nest up here forget them i'm gonna take the ones that are still we ah he's almost dead i am going to be losing on this already and there I, I can't see what the story mode is other than i'm supposed to just keep going till i find my way back Oh no, I, all right, so all the other ones down there are starting to starve. I have nobody else for this one to mate with, except for, I can't even mate there as two females, and this is a, a deformed paw one, and these are just going to slowly die because they can't see to go anywhere. I mean, I can mate, but that's too blind eyed ones that are going to give me more blind eyes you're just going to sit there and stay mate you're not going to get any nest you're going to have to like just pop them out somewhere all right that's it this is the only one i have that is worth keeping <laughs> we're going to travel to another island and hopefully i'll run into a male <laughs> that i can have her mate with before she dies let's see uh remaining life nine days and she's dead. My species is on it. Stink. Oh, restart game with same bloodline. Keep unlocked genes and islands. Yeah, I, that's enough for this. I will have to play with the sandbox, you know, experimental mode a bit. Uh, you know, do another game. <laughs> oh, I can come back to it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try the uh, sandbox thing uh, and see. If I can figure out a little bit more than that. It sucks because I had those weird eyes. I was like, that's weird. And then I found out, oh, after I've got three of them, those eyes are blind eyes. So I can't really use them. They can't move anywhere. They can't see anything. You know, they all they can do is smell a little better, but that don't really help them move around. So, yeah. Anyway, this is Niche, a genetic survival game. And it looks really interesting. It's definitely got some kind of, you know, there's a learning curve to it. I've got to figure out exactly how to try and emphasize certain traits. So I'm definitely going to be playing this for a while. This does not fall in my freaking cheap games Friday things because it's, uh, it's a little more than $10. But if you're interested in checking out the game, I'll have a link to it below in the description where you can go and check it out on Steam. Uh, from my understanding, I think they are almost ready to launch their full 1.0 version so be sure you know if you're watching this at a later date check it out because it's probably going to be at version 1.0 by this time uh, but you know this is definitely a promising and very interesting game 
It's definitely going to be something I'm going to be able to play here and there and have some fun with it. Thanks again for watching, everybody. That's it for today's episode of Thingamabob Thursdays. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button. Hit subscribe and tick the notification bell if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter because I post all my content there too. And I am posting videos six days a week. So that's a lot of content coming your way. Also, make sure you leave me a comment below. Let me know if you liked the game, what you didn't like. If you've got suggestions for me on playing this game. Because I'm definitely going to play it, you know, on an ongoing basis. We'll do some more videos of it. Because this is definitely an interesting game. So leave me a comment below just to say hi if nothing else but again i am mr spicy thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next video